78 Sports TV here. So I'm checking out my boy Boxing Beast and Rhymes page. Doing it from Boxing Beast and Rhymes channel. This is Tony Thompson. Chilling with Boxing Beast and Rhymes. Hey, Glenn, you chilling with Boxing Beast and Rhymes. This is that Mayor Hardcore Man Store on Boxing Beast and Rhymes YouTube channel. I don't know if you want to. Possible Manny Pacquiao fight with Boy Mayor. How do you feel about that? Well, basically, I mean, it's a fight that still has a potential to happen. Uh, you Yo, thank you. I'm, I'm so happy you guys called me. Thank you. Jesus, bro. What's the good, man? Yeah, yeah. How you doing, chat, man? Box Yo, I'm watching, I'm watching a fight right now that you, that, the fight that I fought, just fought with you guys put up. And yeah. I hope you're on the phone with the same guy that was, um, that you and him was commentating the fight. You on yeah, the phone with him? Yeah, he's here right now. Thank you, Jesus. Yo. Oh, my God. Yo. <laughs> Yo. What's going on, guys? Yeah, we all right, man. But yeah, what's happening? Really cool. What's, what's good, man? Yo, everything you guys were saying was one million correct. For real? Okay. Hey, everything you, know you guys were saying. Hey, you know what we you hear me? Hey, we thought he was going to shoot us down over it, but we, 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 we try to keep it on 100, so... Uh, yeah, yo, you know, yo. Whatever, everything you and your man were saying was 100 correct. Number one, right? Mm. You guys were talking about me being on the ropes, right? Yeah. Correct. You guys just want to know, then your man mentioned something, why Vivian is not using his legs, right? Mm, yeah. You, you remember you say that? Your yes, wife Vivian not yeah. using his legs? Yes, I remember that. I remember I, that. Correct. That's what I'm saying. Everything you guys were saying was correct. Let me tell you something, right? You guys were saying he was looking bigger than me and all that. Okay, that's cool. But it doesn't matter how big he was. Listen to me, man. I was in the best shape of my life. You hear me? Hello? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, champ. Yeah, we'll I was the it. best shit of my life. You hear me? Mm. It don't matter who weight. I will beat this guy at any weight class. You hear what I'm telling you guys? I could be winning us because my boxing skills will beat him. Mm. You hear me? So this is what happened in the fight. When we step in the ring, you hear me? The, the mat of the ring was disgusting. The mat of the ring wasn't a, a mat that I could have moved on bunks on. It was like a matras. It was so thick. That everybody was complaining about the mat that they how they make the ring. I never in my in my history fought in a ring like that, bro. But you know what? I'm not gonna be a sore loser, and I'm not gonna complain about it. I'm gonna leave it alone because you know he win the fight. But what I want is a rematch. I want a rematch because he cannot beat me no day, no day he can't beat me. Because at the end of the day, they make the ring for for him to for for a stand up fighter for stand up and fight. I'm not a stand up fighter. I'm a boxer. I move around the ring so. Sometimes I find myself moving, then sometimes I could not move because my legs are so tired of moving around that ring. You hear me? Yeah, yeah, I understand. And I had to stay, I had to stay on the ropes. You hear me? I, it, I was so, I was so exhausted. My legs are so tired. It was, it, the, 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 the ring was soft as a sponge, man. You know what I'm telling you guys? Yeah. Even the, the IBF uh, officials was complaining why the ring is so soft. But I'm already in the ring. You hear me? So my trainer came to me and said, Viv, it's nothing we could do. All you got to do now is walk it. All you got to do is walk it. But that's not how I fight. I box. I move along the ring. I be on my leg. You hear me? Yeah. If I could have fight my fight, I would, it would be an easy fight. So when the first couple rounds started, I wasn't accustomed to the ring. So but as the fight go on, I started getting a little bit accustomed. That's why... Punches started landing real good. My jab wasn't even strong, you know, because you remember your legs go with your hands. You hear me? Mm. Your, your foot movements go with your, the movement of your punches. You hear me? So once you take that away from me, I couldn't land no good jab. I couldn't land no good left foot. You hear me? But as I get warmed up, and then I start saying, okay, the right hand is open. I start landing some good right hands. But it wasn't, still wasn't a strong right hand I wanted to land. You know what I'm trying to tell you guys? Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. but at the end of the day, they did what they had to do to win the fight. But my goal, I want to rematch because he cannot beat me. If this was in America or any, any in America, I would have beat that kid, man. Yeah. Because he's a straight up fighter, comes straight forward, no defense, and I'm a skillful boxer. I know that for sure. And I was, the only, the only reason make I got knocked, knocked out in that fight is because I was so exhausted, bro. You hear me? In the seventh round, I was so exhausted. But you know, he caught me with a great punch. Yeah. I got dropped. I got it back. I laughed. 
And then he jumped on me in the second thing, but it was so exhausted. My legs were so fucking tired, man. Yeah. Trying to move around that ring. You hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why are you complaining? Like, like, when, you, when you got the second time you was complaining, was you complaining because cause of that or you feel like it was st- it was stoppage premature? I I was complaining because I got up. I think I got up at the nine count, but there's the referee said yeah, it was, it was ten. the ten count. Yeah, well, it's ten. fine, but yeah. I think it was more exhaustion keep me down on the ground. On the, on the canvas so long. I wasn't hurt. Mm-hmm. You hear me? He's a 154 pounder, but he's not no... I wasn't... You know what I mean? I was getting hit with some shots, but I wasn't hurt. I got hurt. I get hit with, with harder shots than that. You know what I'm trying to say? Mm-hmm. But it was... I was... My legs were so more fatigued. But you know what? Like I said again, man, I'm not going to be a sore loser. He win the fight. And if you know that he win that fight fairly, he get a rematch at 154 in America. We could fight on his brother on the card, man, in America, man. He can't beat me no proper ring, man. The ring was made for him. Yeah. And it took away my legs. You know what I mean? Because I could not even move in that ring. Yeah. I could not even box in that ring. And what they did, they watched my fight, probably with the Pires fight and other fights, and see I'm a mover. So what they did, they take away that from me. Yeah, because, yeah. But I was in great shape. I, I was training in Vegas for the fight. I was in the best shape of my life. But like I said, he won the fight. I give him the credit. Don't, I'm not taking nothing away from him, but I need a rematch. I should have a rematch. Yeah, man. Because I was noticing, like, um, cause I was thinking, no Yo, yo, you, you, let me tell you something. All my fights, all my fights, I don't sit on no ropes and take no punches, bro. I do not do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You hear me? I was sitting on the ropes taking punches. Why is that? Because... I couldn't move around that ring like I wanted to. You know hear I me? Mean? So you know what? I have to stay somewhere. I have to move when I when I have time to move. And when I don't have time to move, I just sit on the ropes. You feel me? Because yeah. my they took my legs away from me. That's what happened in that fight. Yeah. But you know, like I said, he won the fight, I give him credit for it. Don't get me wrong, but you need to beat me fair. Yeah. Cause I noticed that you was voluntarily going back to the right. That's because you didn't have no strength in your legs. You no what was that? Because I, I was noticing that you was voluntarily going backwards and now you're explaining that you didn't have no strength in your legs. I didn't have no strength. Exactly. The rope, the ring they make. You could ask the IVF official that was in the ring with us. They, they, they was like, we always complain about the ring when we got in the ring. You hear me? Like, even my tenants, so my tenants are there, we already in here. What could we do? We, all you got to do now is walk it. But I can't walk it with a fighter. He's a fighter. He, he, he stay right there and fight. I move. Yeah. Plus, I'm going up in weight at 154. He's heavier than me. Vivian, you know what I mean? The morning, of, the morning of the fight, he was 167. I was 152. Yeah, I knew that. 151. Yeah. I knew that. You feel me? Yeah, I knew that. All I knew. right, okay. But I yeah. wanted to ask you, Vivian. So, yeah. I, I was standing up fighting a bigger guy than me, but there's no complaint. I could still beat him. Why? Because I'm more skillful than him. You hear me? Yeah. But I wanted to ask you, Vivian, yeah? You see, you're self-managed but, right now, yeah? You're no, manage, you're yeah, I'm self-managed, but I have, I have an advisor too. Okay. But you see things like the ring, shouldn't you have some people looking out for you for the beforehand? Because, you know, like boxing's dangerous. Yeah, right? but, like, but, you, but you know what, but you know what, my, but you know what, my brother, uh, you know what I mean? It's like five, and a percent, five out of a hundred percent, you really think that the ring was going to be a ring that you yeah, never fight in yeah, before. Yeah, I wasn't, yeah. That was the last thing that was on my mind, bro. I've been to Mexico. This is my third time or fourth time going to Mexico. I love Mexico, and they always treat me good in Mexico. You know what I mean? The fans, they love me out there. I love Mexico. I love fighting in Mexico. But that experience I had in the ring, it was the hardest ring I ever fight in, in boxing in, in the whole entire, my whole entire career. Mm. You hear me? Mm. I was exhausted from round one in that ring. You see how I was moving tired in that ring? That's not how. I, that's not how I. Tra- I was training in Vegas for that fight, man. For five weeks, I was in Vegas, bro. You know hear I me? Mean? Running the hills and everything. So it's no way I could go and perform and fight like a dead man in the ring like that. I was fighting like a. But it it's just the condition I was in and the determination in me was keep pulling me through. Sometimes in the ring, you feel me? Letting my hands go. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm gonna ask a question. So, are you gonna stay at 154 from now on, or, or you? What? No, I'm not staying at 154. But you see, the reason why I fight, take the fight at 154, bro, is that when I when I win the fight with the fight mm. at 147, I wasn't getting no call for no fight. You know what I mean? And like I said, man, you know what I mean? I gotta make money. I gotta take care of my family. You know what I mean? And if no fight is coming, I'm a, uh, if a fight come my way, I'm gonna take it. So when the fight, it was eight months. I, my last fight was since in March. So I wasn't getting no call. 
So when I get the call for fighting him, you know, I was training all the time, bro. You hear me? I was training all the time. So when I get the call for fighting him, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Why not? Why not take him? When I look at the fight with him and Chavez, I was like, this dude can't beat me. You know what I mean? He, he's a straightforward fight. He can't beat me. I'm a mover. I'm a boxing. And that's how I try. I'm the best sparring partner. He can't, he can't beat, he can't beat my sparring partner I had in camp with, bro. You know hear I me? Mean? I had the best sparring partners I was training and sparring with, man, in camp. Okay. So you're looking at two But you know what I mean? I'm not taking nothing away from him. He's a, he, he's a, he, he's a strong fighter. You know hear I me? Mean? And he, he came there, and, and they put me there. To, I had to stay there and fight him. I could not move wrong the way I'm fighting. You don't, you, don't, you don't fight a fighter fight. I fought his fight. Yeah. Yeah. I, did, I didn't fight my fight. Look at the, uh, you know what I mean? Any real boxing fan will see Vivian Harris did not fight his fight. I did not. I fought his fight. I had to stay there and fight. And by staying there, I'm fighting. I even hurt both of my hands trying to hit him with punches to keep him off of me. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw that. You yeah, see, yeah, I, yeah, had, yeah, I, yeah. I mentioned that. You hear me? But 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 what I'm saying, if I'd had to move and stuff like that, all these things would never happen. But you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna take my loss like I take my wins. You hear me? I went up in weight and I take the challenge and I think, but he could give me a rematch. You know what I mean? If you want to give me a rematch, I'm I'm done for a rematch. Yeah. You, know? you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I would because he cannot he cannot beat me in no boxing ring because he's a straightforward fight. He's not a he's not a fucking he, he, he do the same shit every round. Look at the fight every round he do the same shit. I watch tips of this kid, man. And my goal was to keep that jab, that strong jab in his face, yeah. and keep him away from me. Yeah. With that strong jab to the body to the face, he could have never get close to me. If I could have moved my leg, you really think I would be sitting on the road having this guy punching on me? You really think I want, I, I want anybody to be punching on my skin like that? Come on, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's I, not a fight. Hey, Viv, Vivian, what about coming back to the UK, man? And um, I, I love to do that. You know what I mean? My goal is, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, like I said, I fight you wherever. You know what I mean? And but you know, the the, the thing is, this is what's going on right now in the boxing business that I feel that you know what I mean? When Don Raphael and those stupid media guys put out things about Vivian Harris' career is over and all that stuff, so now it gives them, it gives people more advantage to do dirty things to me. Okay. Because once you do something dirty to me and I lose the fight, then it's like Vivian Harris was supposed to lose. You know what I mean? Because these media say he's finished. So, it's, it, but when you put me, when you, when, you, when, you, when you sleep on me and you don't do what you're supposed to do to, to cheat me, you end up getting beat. You know what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. So that's what's really going on in the boxing business right now with Vivian Harris and, and, and the thing. And these promoters, they know I'm not finished. You know what I mean? They know I still have a lot a lot of talent and a lot of um a lot of fighting in me. So what they do, they do different things to keep me from not achieving not right not yet. Not achieving what I need to achieve. Because like I said, if that fight they know they self what they did to that ring. They know what they did. You know what I'm saying? But you know what? At the end of the day, you know what I mean, I was in there, I fought the fight. If I'd have win the fight, I would have talked about the ring. You hear me? I lost the fight, I'm gonna talk about the ring. And you know what? I still give him the credit to winning the fight. Yeah. But you know, I give myself credit to stuck until the seventh round with him to that mess I was in. Mm. I give myself a, a lot of credit, and th that's what it did is make me stronger because I know I could become champion of the world at 147 again because of what I went to him in that ring in Mexico. Mm. Yeah, you look good, man. What I put up with, you, look, you see me? What, what I, everything, everything that I overcome with. So I really don't, I don't care what nobody have to say if they don't believe it. Put their fighter up at 147. Yeah, you look good in the, the last thing. She the round before the knockdown there. I mean, you, boy, you was coming back in the fight, man. This being yeah, but what I'm saying, yeah, I was coming back in the fight. Yeah, but I was, my legs was, is determination, bro. My legs were still fatigued in that fight. It was so fatigued. Yeah. You know hear I me? Mean? But it's determination because I bring myself back in the, in the world rankings. I didn't bring myself back in the world rankings just to get a loss just like that. You know what I mean? I'm, it's a, I'm trying to achieve something in my life. You feel me? It's to be a champion of the world again. And that's why I dig deep and I try my best to work to any, every, any situation. But you see, you know what I mean? People, fighters got people that are um, doing this and doing that for them. Yeah, I have people that are doing things for me. Yeah, but the things that's supposed to get done is not getting done. You feel me? Yeah. What could I do about that? Nothing. But all I know is the next time I sign a contract to fight anywhere out of the country, is that the ring have to be like how the ring be all over in the world. Yeah. It can't be that kind of ring because I've been fighting for over 
17 years as a professional, so I know how a boxing ring is supposed to be. And it's the experience I just got that a boxing ring could take your legs away out of fight. That's, it was it's so amazing that when, when, I, when I finished the fight, the next day I could not stop talking about it. Like, I couldn't believe that a ring could take away your legs. Yeah. The way to make a boxing ring, bro. I never, that would never be in my, my, my mind yeah. to think about. I would think about all the shit, you know what I mean, but not the fucking ring. Hands. Normally your hands are very fast, and I think because of the ring, obviously, you, you couldn't get that speed. Yeah, but, but, but if you see, let me tell you something, man. Any boxing expert like you guys will know your legs, your, your legs go with your hands. Yeah. You hear me? So yeah. if your legs are not coordinated right, how the fuck your hands could be coordinated right? Yeah. You see yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. many times when I throw my tongue to the left foot, you see I'm like all over the fucking place because my legs yeah. was not right, moving right on that fucking... You go on a matrass and you try to move on a matrass, you can't move right. Yeah, because normally your punches flow, they're more instinctive and like you seem like you was placing them more than throwing them. Thank you. So you yeah, you see me? So yeah. as, I, as I get accustomed to the mat... Like in the fifth or the, the fourth, the fifth, sixth round, I started landing some some clean punches. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. But it still wasn't it wasn't still wasn't helping me. Yeah. You feel me? Because I still was exhausted. I landed a good right hand, but I couldn't follow it up. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, the, the mats yeah. for punches, is, it? The, mats, yeah. the, mats, the mats for punches. So what's the mat called for the, for the people listening? You know what I mean? Like, like, like you, like, I'm thinking more, like, I'm landing punches and I'm thinking about more the mat. I'm thinking about the mat. How am I going to move wrong this mat? Like many times, like you saw the Pires fight. Every time Pires were coming to me, I squat and hit the, with the right uppercut. Yeah. You guys calling for the right uppercut, but I couldn't give the right uppercut because <laughs> my left coordination wasn't there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I was calling for it. I was the calling flat, The flat-footed canvas. <laughs> yeah. They give exactly. A, a flat it, it, it was not... Thank you. That's exactly what I got, a flat-footed canvas. <laughs> the canvas was so thick like a fucking matraz, bro. You feel me? <laughs> But you know, I, I, you know what I mean? Like I said, I, I ain't going to be no soul loser, man. But right is right, wrong is wrong. You know what I mean? If you're going to beat Vivian Harris, beat me right, yo. You know what I'm saying? And the media, them, you know what I mean? They talk a lot of shit because they don't know boxing and they don't know what people do to get a victory over people. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But only a fighter that go in the motherfucking ring know that. You dig me? And his trainers and his team know what's going on. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. But I ain't going to be no soul leader. I, yo, I train hard. For every one of my fights, I went away for six weeks for this fight, and I trained in Vegas for this fight. I had a, I had a good sparring partner, real good sparring partner, bro. You hear me? Yeah. That yeah. the sparring partners that I had would would beat this guy any day. So That's how good my sparring partner was, man. So if you don't get a rematch, what's the next fight you're looking towards? You hear me? Yo, my, you know who, who was my, my main sparring partner for this fight? Who? One of Floyd Mayweather's sparring partner, bro. What's his name? I, I forgot the kid's name. One, one of his sparring partners. Real good kid. Real good fighter, too. He was my sparring partner. He's the one that sparred with Floyd for Floyd and Floyd for Canelo. And this kid Errol is Spence. nasty. Errol you know Spence. what I'm telling you? Errol Spencer? No, not Eric Spencer. Okay. Not him. I, I forgot the kid's name. I'm going to get his name for you. I forgot his name. But what I'm saying was a real good sparring partner for me. It was, he was giving me some real good work. You hear me? Yeah. So I know I had the the, the 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 um the ability to beat this kid because this kid was nowhere close to these guys, man. Mm, mm, yeah. Yeah. Must have been disappointing. That's the kind of sparring partner got me to spar with. You feel me? Yeah. It must have been disappointing after doing all that training, though. For you know, for the canvas. What was that? Be. It must have been disappointing that you did all that training and then it come to you know a loss because of the canvas. You must have been disappointed. Yeah, training. I'm disappointed, but then again, it gives me kind of it gives me a little bit more courage and a little bit more strength to know that I, what I what I went through there, I didn't I didn't quit and I didn't give up. You know what I mean? I, I fight to the bottom until the end. You see me? So it shows me it, it gives me strength that when I go in the ring and I go in on the right ring, I could I could I could handle any kind of pressure because, like I said, ain't nothing about fighting like a fuck like you fighting moving around in a sand or some shit like that, bro. Yeah. On a, you know what I mean? Your legs is 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 done. Yeah, yeah. You hear yeah. me? Yeah, yeah. From wrong one. You feel me? Ain't nothing to pull through that for seven rounds, man. It was it was just strength and just determination and the hard work I put out in, in Vegas. You know what I mean? And I think if I didn't get dropped, you know what I mean, the fight party still continue, bro. You feel me? Yeah. But I was so fatigued 
When I come out there, it's like I came out there with my hands down and I get caught with a punch when I throw my hands. You feel me? Yeah. My punches wasn't, it wasn't, it was like I was showing my punch and I wasn't even bringing my hands right back to my face. I was bringing my hands down because my whole, I, what? My body was so fatigued. You feel me? Yeah, man. It's not good. Look, man. It's not good. Yeah. Well, if you don't get the rematch, then what, what are you going to plan to do? Who are you looking to fight if you can't get the immediate rematch with Alvarez's brother? If I don't get a rematch, man, I'm just, you know what I mean? My advice them would just work on something. Okay. Yeah. They're going to, it's just, um, you know what I mean? They're going to work on different things, you know what I mean? But my goal is willing to fight. I want to fight back, you know what I mean? By February, March. You know what I mean? Like I said, I, I had a long layoff from after the Pius fight. This fight come my way, and I, I take it. Yeah. But it's a lot of good fights at 140 that I want to be involved in, you know what I mean? Excellent. Because I want to show a lot of reporters that, talking a lot of shit that Vivian Harris is not finished. Yeah. You know what I mean? And God bless me with the talent and bless me with the determination. And I know I still have that in me. Yeah, yeah. What about that guy, the Irish guy from Pittsburgh, the one you fought before? What your name again? Oh, What's I don't... Um, Danny, Danny O'Connor? Yeah, yeah. He's doing pretty well now, man. A rematch with him out there. Because I remember... Before, yeah. Before I, like I said, to... whoever want to rematch me, I want to rematch... I will fight them again. You know, because every time I win a fight, it's not by fluke. It's by I winning the fight. So um, who I want to rematch, I would love to get a rematch with them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cool. Well, that should be good, man. We'll look forward to it, man. We're with you, man. Well, uh, like, you like the commentary on it. Like, so everything we said, man, that's good to hear, man. We, I was like, man. Because <laughs> you know what? But, but you know what I mean? But, you know, like I said, huh? I give, I give, I give. What? Move up. Oh, this is. He saw that? Mm -hmm. Yo. I said, Yeah. Yeah, I was saying. Yeah, that. hello. Yeah. Like I said, I give him the credit. I give him a lot of credit. You know what I mean? He come there, he did what he had to do. You know what I mean? But I would love to get a rematch in a better ring. Okay, cool. You know what I mean? All right. We'll look forward to and we could fight. We could fight on his. His brother have a fight coming up, and we could fight on his card in America. Look at that. You know what I mean? And let's see who's who, who's gonna win this one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they might just take it and run, but I can I can see why you'd you'd want a rematch for that man, but um. Okay. But I guarantee you, I could bet anything on you, and I bet anyone the reporters that are talking shit that he would not, they would not take a rematch with me nowhere else in this world. Yeah, yeah, they will. They might just... I, like I could bet anything on that. They might just take it and run for now. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. They're not going to take a rematch with me. Let it, let, it, let it come to... It's better to be fighting in Vegas or something. Let it take a rematch with me in Vegas and see what happens. <laughs> that's the vicious baby I know man yeah, but they're, they're not gonna do it, I, got it. They, I know they're not gonna do it nah, because nah. they know what it they know what it what happened you know what I mean they know what happened but like I said when I lose I lose you know what I mean but if I'm not if I'm if I don't lose fear I don't lose fear you feel me yeah it's one of them tough breaks Vivian man yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but it's but like I said these things happen to a fighter this thing's gonna happen to a fighter like me because what the media put out about fighters you know what I mean? So when things like this happen, it's like it's supposed to happen because what media say about you. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah, That's why, you know what I mean? I don't give a shit about what the media say because the media make things even better and worse for a fighter. So even the good treatment in this boxing business. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree, man. Everything you say, everything That's real you talk, yo. Yeah, yeah, for real talk, man. Well, because if, 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 you're talking, if you're talking good, if you talk, if you talk stuff about someone, you know what I mean, then it makes someone... It makes it harder for someone to try to even do harm to that person, try to cheat that person, or try to do things to stop that person from achieving what they need to achieve. Mm -hmm. But if you if you put this person down, it's easy for somebody you know work against you. You think because oh, this is supposed to happen. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah, we what you're saying. Baby. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, with you, man. All right. Well, anything, anything else you want to say to your fans watching, listening to this, this broadcast? But you know, I get a lot of support from out there. You know, I me mean? a lot of people like the fight, like they like like the determination. You know, I me. Mean? But like I said, I went out there to get the win, and you know, what I mean the win didn't happen. But I will get it if they want to do the rematch. You know, what I mean I would love to get a rematch. You know what I'm saying? Mhm. Mm All right, no, man. No, no doubt. Well, thanks, hey, for, thanks for this post fight video, man. Now we're gonna keep on talking. But, but it's, it's great talking to you guys. This is Vivian Harris, number one all the time, baby. I'm not giving up. You know, what I mean because I will be champion at 147 again, and I'm willing to fight anybody at 147. Any one of those upcoming fighters, any one of those fighters that that is fighting right now, 147. Anyone, I'm willing to fight any one of them at 147 because, like I said, I'm not done yet. 
Thanks, Vivian. Thanks for your time, Vivian. We appreciate it. All right, thank you. All right. All right. God bless you guys. Bye. Bye. What do you think, bro?